What is up guys? Today is Tuesday, 4th of July. So it has been a really long time since I've made a vlog. I think it's been almost a month. Last time I did a vlog was more of a weekend and I apologize for that. I did have a plan to do consistent vlogs week by week and I was originally going to be doing an 8 week cut and documenting that. I decided not to do the 8 week cut. Not going to go too much into detail about that. I just realized I'm not going to force myself to do something I don't want. If you want something and you want to be successful at it, you have to commit 100% of your being to it and you have to genuinely want it and enjoy it. I realize right now cutting isn't really in my favor. I'm not competing this year. I'm sick of macros. I'm sick of tracking. Instead, I just want overall health. Instead, I've just been focusing on different things with my diet. I am going more plant-based, not vegan or vegetarian, but I am going pretty much 90% plant-based in my diet and trying to keep it as much whole foods as possible. And I'm really working on intuitive eating. Intuitive eating is something I've been working on since my last competition, but I have really been trying to harness it 100% and really just get the hang of it and it's a lot harder it's easier said than done but I am working on it and when I do get a real true hang of my diet I'm gonna do a video on it but right now I am just trying different things I have been educating myself more on plant-based diets and the benefit that comes from them so I have not been weighing myself or focusing on anything like that and I've kind of just been trying to enjoy my body I am a lot thicker you know to many people they're like holy crap you're curvy you look great like whatever I am naturally not curvy at all I've had to work extremely hard to build my body build my curves and as I love my curves it's kind of hard for me sometimes to get used to because I am naturally not like this and since my last competition I put on a lot of muscle and when I gained my weight back, I really started to get that shape come in. And again, this is the physique I've been chasing since I was 18. And here I am, 21 now. I am excited to finally be here, but just like, holy crap. Like, definitely getting used to being thicker and curvier. And I sometimes I get hard on myself. I mean, we all get hard on ourselves. Like, I don't have, like, the shredded abs or, like, the midsection. Like, I hold a lot of my fat usually for me in my back and my uh, hip area. So that's kind of a, sometimes harder for me. But... For the most part, I'll be honest, I'm really not stressing. I'm kind of just enjoying my body, enjoying life. And my whole goal right now is just to have balance 100%. I know what it's like to give 100% to competitions and everything, but there's so much more to life than the gym. And I don't want to look back and have regrets. So right now, I'm just loving life and literally living life to the fullest, being 21, enjoying college, enjoying my family, enjoying food, enjoying experiences, just having fun. I leave for Greece on Saturday, and wow, I just... Yeah, I am so excited for that. So I'm not, uh, I was going to cut for that, but I'm just, like I said, enjoying life and just doing me, if you will. But anyways, so that's kind of what was going on with that. But I was in school for the first four weeks of summer. So I was taking summer classes and then I came home now for the last two weeks before we leave for Greece. So then I'll be in Greece for two two and a half weeks and we're going to be in Athens seeing family. Then we're going to go to Mykonos, Santorini, and then back to Athens and then we go home and then I'll go back to college to finish up the rest of the summer there staying in my apartment but it's been an awesome summer so far I've just gained a lot of blessings in weird ways I've gone through a lot of different things I feel like God's really spoken to me in my life and I'm just following his plan for me and I'm really excited to go into my senior year of college and see what it has to offer but more so I can't wait to see where the road goes after this you know, it's crazy to think I only have one more year of college. I've, I just remember being a freshman and just how much I've changed. Not even so much just, you know, going through college. Just I've changed so much through these last couple of years. Like, I don't even know where to begin. I would like to make a video about my spiritual transformation. And if that's something that people want to see, I will 100% do that. I, I don't know. I'm just really excited though. I think there's big plans for me. I think there's big plans for everyone. It's just if you're willing to chase them and follow the light and to go after them. So I'm excited to see what life has to offer me once I graduate. But I'm excited too to just go through senior year, enjoy my last year of college with the people that mean the most to me. So I'm really looking forward to that. But man, I'm excited for Greece. I've been waiting. So I've literally had a countdown on my phone waiting for this. I can't wait to see what doors open there and everything that's going to happen so that's going to be a vacation of a lifetime but this will be the last vlog until greece again i'm sorry i haven't been consistent but i am going to be vlogging in greece so when i get back i'm going to put together a video of that to show you my experience there i'm going to get as much footage as i can because that is something that wow i cannot wait to share with you guys because it's not just going on vacation like that's my roots that's my family that's like where we're from so that's why i'm really excited to go not just for the view but for going back home if you will 
So I'm excited to film that for all you guys. But today, since I will be on the plane for my birthday, so we fly. My birthday is July 9th, and July 8th we leave, and then we'll still be on the plane July 9th. So literally be turning 21 on the plane. So probably gonna be drunk on the plane, but you know it's all good. All right, should I edit that out? I'm not gonna edit that out. That's probably gonna happen. So <laughs> I talked about balance for a reason, guys. But. Anyway, so that's, I mean, that's that. So we are celebrating my birthday today, 4th of July. We're having some family coming over. So we're going to just do that today. And then I still got a pack. Probably should work on that. And then next stop will be Greece. But until then, I hope you enjoy the rest of this vlog. And um, that's my family. I'm all struggling to get ready right now. Okay, I probably should go help. All right, I will see you guys in the next clip. Listen, I know, but I mean, like, you get there, you'll shoot her. Shoot her, please. That's why you're being there. You see, that's Santorini. Tell the guys they're gonna come. Did you send an email to Costa Dina? What are you making? I'm making beans. Where's Dina? Cheesy potatoes. Where's my favorite travel agent? Um, and then a nice tap. Look at the tops you have, it's nice. The ones that I have both here. Though. What's considered inappropriate? And, um. Everything? Tops. And that's all I have all, is crop all, tops. All yeah. yeah, all I bring you is crop tops. I'm dead serious. Where's and dress is gonna be cold, so you have to have it covered. Well, all so I have is crop it's tops. Cold. Like it's it's cold. Black, 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 Never, never leave your unattended your drink. If you left it by mistake, the drink, even water, you can't even drink it. Okay? Yeah, that's the wrong here. Plus, yeah, but this plus, plus, no, you think that you're going to Greece, they are nice, nice? No, they're worse. They are. Where is it? I don't want to have cake yet. Are you excited for drinking? Yeah. Voice your opinion about it. Mmm. Trying to eat right now, you know. Hey guys, thanks for waiting. And we're loading the dishwasher. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna have a urinary tract infection. No, just leave it. They get along. Don't touch. Mom, you're so. Was he in the? Was he in the? Um, wow. Wow. Oh, oh, what? I was going like this. Tina, um, why would you grab him like this? See which one is the <laughs> camera? This is a birthday you're gonna have. Oh, here it is. Okay, wait. Here we go. All right, they're all melting. The temperature's going up in the house. Come on. Okay. All right. Make a wish. It really doesn't end up okay. coming true. Right. So it's a little bit I wish for a perfect booty. Tina, Tina. I am. I'm gonna get everyone together. Thing of prayer. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Right, everyone turns away now. Give that a second. Scott Moss. 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 Three days out from leaving for Greece. So, I am going to the dentist this morning because my mom insists that we, um, I'll get our stuff done before we leave. So I'm gonna go to the gym right after the dentist, so I'm gonna eat my pre-workout meal now. <sighs> so 
so today I'm gonna switch it up a bit. So I think I'm going to do, so I don't know how long all of you guys have been following me, but I have done these pancakes for a really long time. I have done this since prep in 2015. So that the Met RX pancakes mix thing, yeah. So these are like higher protein powder pancake mix. And then I always add a little bit extra egg whites to that. And then something I've been doing too a lot lately is, and I'll add this to my oatmeal too. I'm not sure where they are. Um, I do chia seeds if they're right here. Yeah. I add chia seeds as well to the mix and sometimes I'll throw in protein powder. So I have been trying to eliminate like majority processed foods. Notice I said a majority, not 100%. Like if I have something left, I'm not just gonna throw it all the waste. Like I bought this, I'm gonna finish it, which is why I'm trying to use it up more now. So um, lately I've been doing a scoop of protein powder in my oatmeal or in my pancake mix. So that is what I'm doing here. So that's what I've been doing. So I'll mix that together, make the pancakes, top it with some peanut butter, and banana boom 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 and that's gonna be the pre-workout meal for today so that is what i'm doing but yeah for the most part i really am trying to eliminate as much as i can so yesterday we celebrated my birthday um my birthday's not until this weekend on sunday but since we are going to be on the plane and we just had family over yesterday to celebrate it there was cake now all i'm gonna say is i was extremely sick so just from having that chocolate cake i don't know but i was just demolished i felt like dizzy i felt nauseous i had to go on a walk after and kind of just like i don't know just get away for a bit because i just felt absolutely horrible don't know why but yeah the point is is like i struggle with anything dairy processed sugary um mainly because i don't really eat that much so when i do i just feel like absolute crap so i am trying to go majority plant-based animal foods again in greece is going to be different the food in greece is a lot different um the food system there is very different than America, so I'm not as concerned for the most part. So I'm gonna kinda eat whatever, but I am gonna be limiting meat intake while I am over there. I'm gonna try to stay away from as many processed things as possible, which I don't think should be too much of a problem there anyways. But I'm gonna be vlogging the whole trip so you can see what I eat there because something I wanna do myself is 100% adapt the Mediterranean diet. I have talked about this before. I already pretty much eat like it, but I kinda wanna see how they eat over there and kinda bring it over here. I mean, I, I do pretty much know, but I just want to like see for the two weeks I'm there kind of how my body adapts to everything I'm eating and then kind of bring it back here and then what I can put together I want to share on this channel to show you guys. So that is all I'm going to make these now. When these are done I will show you and then we're going to go to the dentist, we're going to lift, we're going to start packing and then we're going to be off to Greece. So stay tuned for these pancakes. I'm really big in the affirmations like saying, speaking things into existence. I believe in the law of attraction. I'm a huge believer in energy. And I believe that if you truly believe in your heart that you can have something that you are something like it will happen. You have to truly believe it though. And I, again, speaking things into existence. So this book, um, it's just a simple one. It's just, you know, I read a, I read a bunch of books. This is just a side one of my regular normal one I read every day. Like I also have like, like, you know, you got side bitches, I got side books. Okay, I don't know why I just said that. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, so this book talks about affirmations that you should say every day. So it goes, one, I am a strong, confident communicator. I am worthy and deserving of respect. I easily express my thoughts, opinions, and desires. I stand up for my rights. I feel safe and secure about asking for what I want or need. I easily ask for what I want and effortlessly exercise my right to say no. It is my right to say no and I exercise this right when I need to. I allow myself to receive from others. I am important, my views are important, and my life is important. This is very true. I trust and believe in myself, self-love. I feel for other people, but it is not reason to be taken advantage of. I am in control. I am comfortable in tense and difficult social situations. I don't let people and outside influences destabilize me. Last one. I don't let people and outside influences destabilize me. You don't let other things on the outside knock you off your horse, basically. So those are some things to say every morning. You can like play through that part of the video. I can even write them in the description box, actually. And just something to say, like the books, like say them over 10 times every morning, every night. Even if you don't believe them, fake it till you make it. Just say them and just 
literally speak things and even make your own list that's just like a mock list and then you can add your own or whatever you want to believe say it every day until you truly believe it and just becomes like breathing you know like driving a car speak things into existence it's just natural make it into your subconscious mind so that's something i'm working on i also have been doing a gratitude journal so there's a lot of things i'm working on like having my vision writing it out because i've kind of felt like off lately like not on my motivation game and that's something i've been praying about every morning is just kind of getting it back i do think greece is going to open my eyes a lot to things but i have been kind of just rocking all over the place like i'm trying to show you like i don't feel on fire every single day like like i know it i write about it i believe it but i don't always feel it every single day so i'm definitely kind of like right here right now and i know i'm gonna kind of start getting back up here and just it's gonna i'm gonna skyrocket again but i'm in that plateau i always believe like i go through those moments but then it always makes sense because then i hit a high point again you know then you got to go down learn some lessons go back up that's just how life works just accept it deal with it that's just how it is so i wanted to share those but now i'm gonna make breakfast because my stomach is literally growling all right back <laughs> July 6th it is Thursday and it is 6 30 p.m. I am about to get a lift here at everybody's gym in Chardon Ohio if you have not been to that gym highly recommend it uh, Titans is my number one favorite gym I'm a little bit biased but actually this gym this gym is pretty dope you'll see I'm gonna try to film a little bit while I'm here tonight but this is my last leg workout until Greece which is weird I mean there's uh, our hotels have uh, gyms in them so I'm still gonna get a couple workouts here and there not the whole vacation because you know need a break but i am still gonna get workouts and this is my last like big leg day until i'm back uh home in two weeks and then tomorrow i'm gonna hit uh shoulders and chest so i'm excited i'm gonna go really hard usually my squat days are on wednesday i'm only doing legs twice this week just switch it up around so i'm gonna probably do my squats today and then just have a little bit of accessory work after again i don't know how this gym is about filming but i will try to get as much footage as i can so with that being said i'm about to downstream pre-workout and get this done so uh let go
guys, that is gonna conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed the content and the footage. I hope you enjoyed the workout. That gym is freaking awesome. Again, everybody's gym in Chardon. Highly recommend it. But I'm gonna finish off now. I'm gonna eat. I am going to edit this video and then tomorrow's Friday and Saturday we head off to Greece. So again, last vlog until I get back. The next vlog will be a travel vlog again. If you like the video, please thumbs up. Please subscribe and comment if there's anything else you want to see down the road. I don't know, but I'm really hungry, so this is where the clip's gonna end. All right, I love y'all. Bye.